Uh, soccer has been a huge part of my life, and it is the main reason that I was pulled here. Uh, Coach Q found me on a recruiting website, uh, sent me an email, and at this point in time, actually, uh, in high school, I wasn't even thinking about playing soccer anymore because I had a pretty bad ankle injury. Um, and then just one day, you know, God put it on my heart to go back to that profile that I hadn't looked at in months. You know, I read the email and there was nothing that told me that this wasn't the spot for me to go. A week later, I was down here uh, on campus. And then almost a week after that, I signed and committed to come here. As soon as I stepped on campus, I knew this was a place for me. Like, this was such a close-knit family, and that's what I needed, especially coming from New Jersey, so I don't get to see my family a lot. Being able to have that family feel um, with the people here, it was huge. I, I could not be more happy with my time here. I met the woman I'm going to marry. Coach Q has been a mentor, a friend, and a great coach. For those reasons, I, I would not uh, imagine leaving for a second. So, Working with these young ladies and young men has just been a blessing. Uh, it's neat to watch them evolve uh, in their relationship with the Lord and using that platform to help them in life, but on the track as well kind of to keep things in perspective and that we're doing something for much bigger than just go over a fast time. It's to, what's God trying to teach us through the losses and the, and the victories. Um, the Bible says consider it an opportunity and joy when you go through trials. I went through many trials as everybody known like the last five years it's been it's been a challenge but like we can see the redemption story of God in my life. How she has grown spiritually has been an encouragement to me. Um, how deep rooted her faith has become through all the struggles and the trials of being held out of meets and COVID and all the other things. And then to watch her go to the national championship and then jump that mark, ranked 18th and finish fourth. Uh, I just believe God was in the middle of that. And she did what she always does, which is give God all the glory and was very humble in that win. I'm just really grateful to be a part of such a loving, caring team. And my Sherry has been one of the biggest roles in making me feel so special, loved, cared for, just a part of the track team. Being on a team that's hit provisional marks so many times, that's definitely something you can tell your grandkids. Uh, my Sherry is so much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her when she leaves, but I'm um, so proud of her and happy for her. Um, so having her, you know, as a training partner and as a teammate has also been life-changing as well because she's a fierce competitor and she loves the Lord and she brings lots of joy and energy and laughter to our team. So she's just, she's one of a kind and she's truly special. No matter if you're a distance runner, a thrower, a jumper, a sprinter, she is, she's there for you, and she is somebody that will listen to you, that will give you advice. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really grateful to have someone like my Sherry on the team and call her not only my teammate, but one of my dearest friends, and I'm just really proud of her, and she deserves this and so much more, and I'm so excited to see how she does in outdoor, because I know God has big plans for her. Just making it to nationals was a testimony of its own. And we see God's grace through it because it's like they took the top 20 and I was 18. So I hardly even got to be in it. And I, I made it in like slimly, <laughs> but uh, the Lord allowed me to be able to compete there. And just being able to see the goal of top eight gets the All-American, top eight gets that big, nice trophy, top eight stands in the podium and gets to be named All-American. And just to see that I went from 18th to being not only top eight, but fourth was it was just amazing i can't i have i have no words to explain it but the lord is good that's all i can say <laughs> that's all i can say <laughs>I'm going to miss the school, and it is, it's bittersweet, but I feel contentment, I feel peace, because I know the Lord is bringing me somewhere else, and everything that I've done here, and everything that the school has done for me, it's just, it's a special thank you to, to Doug, <laughs> in the calf, to, to Wes Pate, to Ken Deal, to Laura Hedden, to, to Greg Thiel, <laughs> to Julia Renega, it's just everybody, the SWU Athletics, SWU Track, SWU Calf, SWU Activities, Grace for
Welcome back, Warrior fans, to Child's Field as your women's soccer team are taking on North Greenville Crusaders. Game time should be 1 o'clock coming up right here, but first we're going to get to our starting lineups. First in gold, double zero will be Amanda Magnan. Number three, Abigail Amon. Number four, Presley Bayot. Number six, Corinne Pashevix. Number nine, Becca Devrix. Number 10, Madeline Graff. Number 12, Maddie Wurst. Number 17, Kira Brown. Number 24, Wynn Bradley. Number 35, Fianna Steves. And number 43, Hannah Kovacic. Soccer has been a huge part of my life, and it is the main reason that I was pulled here. Uh, Coach Q found me on a recruiting website, uh, sent me an email, and at this point in time, actually, uh, in high school, I wasn't even thinking about playing soccer anymore because I had a pretty bad ankle injury. Um, and then just one day, you know, God put it on my heart to go back to that profile that I hadn't looked at in months. You know, I read the email and there was nothing that told me that this wasn't the spot for me to go. A week later, I was down here uh, on campus. And then almost a week after that, I signed and committed to come here. But as soon as I stepped on campus, I knew this was a place for me. Like, this was such a close-knit family, and that's what I needed, especially coming from New Jersey, so I don't get to see my family a lot. Being able to have that family feel um, with the people here, it was huge. I, I could not be more happy with my time here. I met the woman I'm going to marry. Coach Q has been a mentor, a friend, and a great coach. For those reasons, I, I would not uh, imagine leaving for a second. So, Working with these young ladies and young men has just been a blessing. Uh, it's neat to watch them evolve uh, in their relationship with the Lord and using that platform to help them in life, but on the track as well kind of to keep things in perspective and that we're doing something for much bigger than just go around fast time. It's to, what's God trying to teach us through the losses and the, and the victories. Um, the Bible says consider it an opportunity of joy when you go through trials. I went through many trials as everybody known like the last five years it's been it's been a challenge but like we can see the redemption story of God in my life. How she has grown spiritually has been an encouragement to me. Um, how deep rooted her faith has become through all the struggles and the trials of being held out of meets and COVID and all the other things. And then to watch her go to the national championship and then jump that mark, ranked 18th and finish fourth. Uh, I just believe God was in the middle of that. And she did what she always does, which is give God all the glory and was very humble. 
Uh, soccer's been a huge part of my life, and it is the main reason that I was pulled here. Uh, Coach Q. Welcome, Warrior fans of Central South Carolina, as your Southern Wesleyan University Warriors are women's soccer team taking on the North Greenville University Crusaders. As we're just now kicking off, your Warriors will start off with the ball. They'll take it on the right side, look middle. They'll try to go outside, but that'll slowly roll out of bounds. It'll be a Crusade throw in. Your Warriors coming in this game 1-2-1 one, one, as they're coming off their first victory on the season. Recently just beating Albany State 4-1. to one. It's going to be a season high on goals scored. Looking to ride the momentum in this tough matchup against North Greenville. North Greenville struggling this season. 0-3 have scored three goals on the season as they're getting close in a save by Amanda Magnan. And the rebound goes right over the goal. A great effort by North Greenville, but an even greater save by Amanda Magnan. She'll kick off right here. The visiting Crusaders, even though 0-3, have scored three goals on 19 attempts and have only allowed 12. Your Warriors only scoring 5 on 61 attempts and also allowing 12 goals. Crusaders get the ball back. But your Warriors playing some great defense. NGU driving down the field. They'll go on the right side. That pass goes wide and it'll just roll to Amanda Magnan. She'll try to get the Devert Bill go out of bounds. That'll be an NGU throw in. That'll be number 23, Macy Metcalf, with a throw in. Abigail Amen trying to get the save, can't get it. It'll stay NGU ball. Tries for the cross, header, and a goal for NGU early in the game, a 1-0. Number nine, Isbel Girich with the goal for NGU. Presley Bayot kicking off for Swoo now. She'll get to Deverick. We'll drop back to Pashevics. She'll go out to Bradley. Goes past midfield. Graf trying to get a shot off. Wide. And that'll be left. Goalkeeper today for NGU is number 36, Haley Holland, a sophomore out of Alabama from Lee University, a transfer. So we'll get a throw in right here. That'll be Devericks with the throw in. 
She'll try to get Am in. But that'll just trickle out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for NGU. She'll go out left with that. As NGU trying to get past midfield. Swoo defense making a stop. NG now making a run. She'll take a shot. It is blocked. Blocked by Amanda. NG rebounds. But kick goes wide. It'll stay 1-0. So now Amanda Magnet with a goal kick. Coming up now, an NG Youth corner kick. We'll try to get across right here. Maybe another header for a goal. Not a header, but another goal for NGU. Up early. 2 nothing on your Warriors. Not many fans here at Child's Field, but the NGU men's team in the stands making some noise, showing their NGU pride. Swoo will kick it off again. They'll get to Steve, drop back to Bradley. She'll try to get it upfield. NGU defense is there, they'll strip the ball. Back to Swoo. Steves has it. Close to midfield. Tries to get to Kovalchik. Can't get it. NGU recovers. Had midfield on a cross. That cross goes wide and Magnum just put a stop to it. Magnum kicking it out to Bradley. Looking at Devricks. Has NGU defense all over her. A push and a foul is called. Karina has the ball. She'll kick it past midfield. NGU defenders waiting for it. Maddie Worst with a stop. She'll try to go out wide to, to Amen. Tries to get across, but it is blocked. That cross is blocked by number two, Eleni Sprinkle. Very fun name for soccer. It'll be a corner kick from Amen. Whistle is blown. Confirmation, there is a foul on NGU. So we'll, we'll see another corner kick from Amen. Tries to get to Bradley. Bradley takes a shot. A lot of NGU bodies on it. They'll try to kick it out. They can't get it just yet, and they do. Headed out of bounds by number 10, Jada Patrick. So it'll be another throw in. Devrick's coming in for Swoo to throw it in to Amen. It goes far. NGU recovers. They'll go left side now. Kicks it past midfield. Devrick's racing for it. NGU will get it. Bradley will kick it up to Amen. 
Kicks up to midfield. That's Bayot with it. Back to worst. She'll try to get to Kovalchik. On the left side, that'll roll out of bounds. That'll be a throw from North Greenville coming up. Headed by worst. Excuse me, Gret. NGU passing around midfield. They'll dribble up, try to dial up something. They'll go left side. They'll take a shot over the post. It is no good. We'll see another Magnin goal kick. She'll pass it out to Karina pass midfield. Stays in bound, but NG recovers. They'll kick it back to their goalie. Tegan pass midfield. Bradley gets a touch on it. She'll try to get to Amen again. But that'll roll out of bounds. It'll be another NGU throw in. Macy Metcalf with a throw in. Steve's with it. Stolen again by NGU. And they'll throw it up. They'll try to get across. Maybe a shot on goal. Swoo defense is there. Amen racing for it. She'll get it back. She'll try to get up to Kovacic. Can't get it. NGU ball. And that pass goes wide. Magnin with the grab. Magnin show off the boot, skies it. You can get right on midfield line. NGU will keep it, but SWU defense is right there. And that is an offsides penalty called on NGU. Karina now with the free kick. She'll get to Bradley. Gets it to worst. Looking for Devricks. She'll find her. Back to Bradley. Looking at Amen. She'll get to worst now. Kicks it up to Amen. Great positioning, but NGU defense kicking it out. That'll stay Sue Ball. Amen now throw in. Dumps it to worse. Back to Amen. Offside's called. Eleni Sprinkle with the free kick. NGU now. Pass midfield. Works it upfield, gets it to our side, crosses middle. Magnin with the grab and the save. She'll get to Bradley, to Devericks now. Tries to go middle. That's stopped by NGU. Swool will have it now. Now back to NGU. She'll dribble, try to get it close. NGU 
and you now switching sides. Far side of the field now. Does a cross. Tries to lay it up. Can't get it. Off the left side post. If you're just now joining us, 2 nothing. NGU leads. As NGU now has the ball at midfield. NGU's defense, aggressive, and their offense quick. Great clear by Steves. NGU now with the ball. They'll do a cross get past midfield. And now a one-on-one, -on -one, one on two. Take a shot. It is deflected by Magnin. So that a great block. But it'll be an NGU corner kick. Both goals for NGU off of great crosses from the outside that have been headed in. We might see another one here. And that will be Kovacic clearing it. And that will go out of bounds. Number 33, Izzy Feidel with the throw in. Swoon, I have possession. Inju gets a foot on it, goes back to him. Great defense from Swu. Dumps it to Steve. She's racing for it. Tries to get it to worst. It goes wide. Now in position of NGU. They'll dump it back. Pass midfield. Tries to cross it. Can't get all of it, though. Intercepted by NGU. Offsides penalty call. Way offsides. And that'll be another free kick. Win Bradley with it. Off the head of NGU. Off the head of Devricks now. Off the head of another NGU player. Goes for a cross. NGU in possession of it. And a foul is called. PK foul inside the box. Foul on our own, number six, Karina Pashevix. And the PK is going to be taken by NGU's number two, Eleni Sprinkle. NGU going for 3 nothing. It's deflected, but still goes in. It'll be 3 nothing NGU in this first half. Presley Bayot now with the kickoff. She'll get it to Steves. Out to Graf. Graf dribbling up. Tries to make a pass intercepted by NGU. 
Gaff back gets the ball back for him. Great out by Magnan. That ball rolling, it'll be a swoo ball. Graf now with a throw in. Fight for the ball, it'll stay swoo ball. After a foul is called. Karina now with the free kick. And you know, possession past midfield. Karina. Now with the ball, she'll go up to Graf. She'll try to get Amen. Can't get it, goes a little too far. The goalie gets a touch on it. But Deverick's now in possession. That will be deflected off of NGU, number 29. Deverick's now with a throw in. Six minutes left in this first half. 26 minutes, excuse me. Swoo now with it, two on one. That was Maddie Worst trying to get it. Now it would be a corner kick by Amen. Try to get it, goes a little wide. That's off the foot of NGU. Steve's racing for it. Trying to make a turn. She'll let the graph. Karina makes a kick. Tries to go middle. Looks the worst. Abigail Amen trying to go for a cross. Can't get it. And that'll be off the foot. Of Kovacic. Sub coming in for NGU. That'll be Alicia Lamb coming in. And now two subs for Swoo will be number 23, Bella Hansley. Correction, 23, Bella Hansel. And also number 21, Viviana Gutierrez, now coming in for Swoo. That ball kicked out of bounds by NGU. It'll be a swoo ball now. That'll be Hannah Kovacek with the throw in. But NGU recovers the ball. Goes to the far side. They'll have it trying to get across maybe. A foul is called against Swoo. So now we'll see a free kick.
free kick coming from number 17, Finley Lloyd from NGU. Goes for a cross. Goes a little wide off the head of Worst. NGU now with it. And that ball is stopped by Magnin. Magnin showing some great defense today. She'll try to go near side, but intercepted by NGU. They'll make a run at it. Shot is blocked by Magnin, again showing the great defense. She'll get to Kovacek, trying to get to Steves, intercepted by NGU. They'll take a shot at it. Can't get it wide left. That shot right there by Audrey Kramer. Aubrey Kramer. That ball rolling out of bounds off of NGU. Another goal kick by Magnin. NGU quickly getting it back. They'll try to get a shot off right here. Gets the right side of the net. That'll be no good. Staying 3 nothing. Again, right back to NGU. But Swu will get it back. It's in, on the foot of worst. She'll try to kick it up. But that'll roll right to their goalie. Not a lot of action for Haley Holland. Number 23, Bella racing for it. Can't get it. So in possession. Now back to NGU. Steve trying to get back for Swoo. They can't get it. They'll get back to Holland in goal. She'll go near side to 23. Macy Metcalf trying to get to her. Win Bradley trying to stop it. But that'll roll out of bounds off of NGU. That'll be Swoo ball. And that'll be Devrix throwing it in for Swu. <laughs> Bella and Steve trying to fight for it. Holland now with it. They'll come near side, past midfield. Trying to make a move, loses the ball. Devrick's now playing great defense. NGU now called offsides. A lot of offside penalties called this game.
NGU now getting it back. Swoop defense is there. Foul's called. Free kick, so that'd be Karina kicking it. Gets it to Bradley. Now back to Bradley. Off NGU, but Swu keeps it. Passes intercepted by NGU. Sub coming in for Swu. Number 29, Malin Moles. And that'll be Hannah Kovacek coming out. Devick sounds the throw in. Just past the home bench. She'll get to Bella. Ball is loose. Eleven touch to take a shot, and it is blocked by Magnin. And you trying to get a quick shot off. There'll be another save by Magnin. Corner kick now coming up for NGU. Eleven out of the cross goes high and off the head of NGU. Now a goal kick for SWU. Two subs now coming in. For North Greenville, number 31, number 12. Number 12, Miranda Morehouse. And number 31, Emma Denninson. Moles now with it. Off the foot, NGU, that'll be out of bounds. Swoo throw in. Now it'll be Moles with the throw in. Trying to get to Hensel. Can't get it. NGU now near side. And you now pass midfield, far side. Now near side. We'll get a dancing. Now Swoo with it. They'll try to go out wide. That'll trickle out of bounds. NGU ball. Be sprinkled with a throw in. Vivian Gutierrez getting the ball back for Swoo. Hansel grabbed by the jersey and Thrown down, but no foul is called. NGU now takes a shot. And that'll be a goal for NGU. Right over the hands of Magnin. Hitting the top post going in. Four. 
four and nothing NGU before the first half is up. Just south of 13 minutes left in this first half. Warriors gets a touch on it, and they'll roll out of bounds. NGU throw in. Sprinkle with the throw in. Off the head of Gutierrez, that'll stay NGU ball. Off the foot of Bradley, she gets the first touch. So we'll get it back to Magnan, who gets out to Moles. A lot of contact there. Shot by NGU. It's no good. It'd be wired right. Steve gets a foot on it, but that will go out of bounds. NGU throw in. Subs coming in for NGU will be 26 and 25. Abigail Schultz. Number 33 and number 11 coming out for NGU. Ball goes out of bounds, staying swoo ball. That would be Karina with the throw in. Correction will be a foul that was called. That will be a free kick. Bradley not with it, surveying the field. Tries to go middle. There's an NGU defender right there. That ball goes far. It's now Deverick trying to get it. She gets to Amanda, who kicks it out. Off the head of NGU, now in their possession. Steve trying to get it back, and she does. Gets it to Bradley, who kicks it upfield. NGU defenders right there, though. Now in their possession at midfield, they get past. They'll try to go out wide near side, but goes out of bounds. Now will be Deverick's throw in for Swu. Off the head of NGU. They'll keep possession. Moles with the kick out goes past midfield. But stays in possession of NGU. NGU now on the midside, they'll look middle. NGU now in the middle, off the head. It'll go right to Magnan. Eight fifty left in the first half. As Magnan skies it to midfield off the head of NGU. They'll keep possession. Graf right there with the defense can't get it. Devrix does though. Devrix again. She'll look middle to Gutierrez. She'll try to get way upfield to the outside on the far side. But NGU defense fast to kick it out. Throw in for Swoo. 
a great place right here to put some pressure on. As they'll have Moles with the throw in. NGU now trying to make a turn. Steve's right there with the defense. Can't get it, though. NGU past midfield. Look outside. Magnet out of goal to come get it. She'll kick it out. It'll stay NGU ball. NGU now quickly throwing it in. Gutierrez with the stop. She'll get it to Graf. Graf working up the near side. Makes a great cross. Tries to go outside. Miscommunication from her and Bella. And they'll go out of bounds. It'll stay swoo ball. Graf with now with a throw in. She'll get to Hansel. Hansel trying to get it. Foul is called. PK inside the box. Bella Hansel now with the PK. Correction, that will be Vivian Gutierrez. Number 21 from SWU. Trying to make it 4-1 with 6.39 left in the first half. No action yet for Holland in goal for North Greenville. Goal is good for SWU. Vivian Gutierrez with the goal for Swoo, making it 4-1 right before the first half is done. Great way to put some pressure on. Haley Holland's first touching goal goes in favor of the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors. Swoo now with, with some momentum. But NGU now with the ball as they'll try to go middle. Magnus there with the grab. She'll toss it out to Devrix. Devrix trying to get it to Graf. Can't get it. Two NGU defenders on her. They'll take possession back. That'll be Maddie Worse now with the ball. She'll try to get it up close. Too close as Holland grabs it. Substitution for Swoo. Jaeli Ramos now coming in for Swoo. Swoon out with possession as it is quickly taken back. 
and back again by Swoo. Tries to get into Moles. It'll go out of bounds. NGU ball. Foul is called. Swoo player on the ground, but foul called in favor of NGU. Now a free kick for NGU. A few yards past midfield. Puts a great kick inside, but it goes wide right. Foul called on NGU. It'll be a free kick swoo. Gets it to Devrix. Near side. Tries to go middle looking at Graf. NGU will get it back. They'll clear it, but Bradley's there. Off the head of NGU before. Viviana and Karina playing some great defense. Ball back in NGU hands. A lot of Swoo defenders, though, around it. They'll look middle of NGU, take a shot. And that shot goes high. Still 4-1. Sub coming in for NGU. Hannah Sullinger now coming in. Coming out is number 12, Miranda Morehouse. Swoo kicks it up, tries to get to Graf. Is off the foot of NGU. That'll stay Swoo ball. Now Devrix with a throw in. Devrix trying to get to Hansel. Can't get it though. No foul called. Coming up on one minute left in the first half. Still 4-1 in Swoo's possession, but now in North Greenville. Sky is a pass. NGU still has it. Devrix with the defense. And that shot wide right. There'll be goal kick Magnin. Out to Bradley. 30 seconds now left in the first half. Ball goes out of bounds. NGU quickly trying to throw it in. Off the head goes behind to Bradley. Close call goes in favor of Swu. And that'll end the first half here at Child's Field. NGU leading 4-1 on your Warriors. Warriors now having to come out aggressive in the second half. We'll see what they can do and we'll see if NGU can hold on to this 4-1 lead. We'll be right back. Diamond Team Promotional here. Just a um, family-owned business that provides screen print embroidery, vinyl graphics, for cars and banners.
We've been in business now for over 32 years. This is it. Step into community, step into faith, step into life. Step into Southern Wesleyan University.
downtown central, Rails 133 has something for everyone. With menus and specials designed by our chef, Trent Kane, our selections can only be best described as upscale southern comfort foods. Chef Kane uses only the freshest, locally sourced ingredients that have made Rails a destination spot. We offer theme nights, chef specials, daily specials, and our famous meet and three on Sundays. Come visit Rails, dine in our lighted patios, or in our railroad-inspired dining areas. Rails 133, where memories are made every day. Welcome back, Warrior fans, to second half action as your Southern West University Warriors are trailing 4-1 to one to the North Greenville Crusaders. North Greenville having 20 shots total on goal, or 20 shots in total, 10 shots on goal. Your Warriors with 6 total shots and then 1 on goal. NGU now kicking it off to start the second half. And they'll quickly get past midfield going up near side. Moles now with it for Swoo. She'll get a Hansel. North Greenville getting back to their goalie. New goalie alert for North Greenville. Double zero, Samantha Montgomery now in. Already getting her first touches today. Now North Greenville working up the near side, looking middle. 
Now going far side, getting past midfield. A shot on goal by NGU, that is no good, but that will be a North Greenville corner kick now coming up after the deflection by Amanda Magnan. Shot is saved. Great grab by Magnan. Keeping this game at 4-1. Ball goes off a swoo foot, and that'll stay North Greenville ball. Aubrey Kramer now with a throw in, number 13 from NGU. Magnin with the great grab keeps it from any more action happening in that box. Swoo now getting it past midfield off the heaven NGU player. NGU now with the possession tries to go for a long shot. It's wide left. That ball trickling out of bounds will be NGU throw in and quickly getting it out. And now it'll be a swoo ball. Dev right now for throw in. Steve's now with it, trying to get past midfield, gets it to Graf. Goes up midfield, getting a Hansel. Hansel trying to get to it, can't get it. That'll be Montgomery trying to get it out. Back to Graf from Swoo. The look far side in the corner. And that'll go out of bounds off the foot of Swoo. And that'll be a goal kick now. And you now looking near side. Stays near side. Toe in the line. Stays in bounds. Korean from Sue trying to make a turn. Tries to get between the legs. Can't get it. But now Fianna Steves. A dog play over the, over the ball here. Fianna Steves now with it. Now NGU. Win Bradley with a great defense getting it back to Steves. Now it's Swoo getting past, almost getting past midfield. That'll be NGU ball now. No offsides penalty called though. That will be Graf kicking it out. That will be an NGU throw in. 23 Macy Metcalf with the throw in here. Gets it in. First touches NGU. Steve's now with it. 
back to NGU. They'll try to take a shot. It's wide right. So we can get to Steve's quickly met by NGU defenders trying to get out of it can't find anyone foul is called on Fianna Steves from SWU Aubrey Kramer now taking the free kick And Jada Patrick up there with her. Great defense from Swu. Foul is called though. So now we'll see a quick free kick. Trying to get to Hansley. Or Hansel. Hansel now with a shot. It's good. Bella Hansel with the goal, making it 4 2 for Swu. Great transition from the Warriors and a great shot from Bella. Making it 4-2. Your Warriors now only trailing by two now. So we have 37 minutes left in this second half. A lot of game to play. A comeback is in order for the Warriors now. As Moles trying to get it back. As North Greenville dribbling up the near side. A lot of contact. Moles now with it. She'll kick it out to Bella. A foul is called. Draws the foul. Montgomery with the stop right there. She'll kick it out near side to 33. There'll be Izzy Feidel. Devrick's kicking that out. That'll stay NGU throw in. Moles now with it. She'll kick it past midfield. Both shots on goal by the Warriors have been goal today. In basketball terms, the Warriors are shooting 100% from the field.
Ball in possession of North Greenville getting past midfield. North Greenville trying to get a foul called. Nothing in. Off the head, NGU making a move. And that'll be a yellow card on Bradley. Correction. There'll be a red card on number six, Corinna Pashevix. A PK coming up from North Greenville. Chance to make it 5 2. Swoo's first red card on the season. Shot is saved. Amanda Magnin with a great save. Card comes out against North Greenville. Not sure who the card is on, but that will be a free kick for Swoo coming up right here. That will be Wynn Bradley kicking it. Off the head, North Greenville. They'll get possession. Nope. Fianna Steves now kicking it back to Amanda. Swoo trying to work it up far side. They come middle. North Greenville has it though. Graf getting it back for Swoo. Going two on one. That'll go out of bounds. Off the foot of North Greenville though. It'll be Graf throw in coming up right here. No cards in the first half for either teams, but already. Early in the second half, two cards have been issued, one yellow, one red. As we have a sub coming up for North Greenville. Krista Gordon, number 21. Ball coming near side. Wynn Bradley getting it back to Amanda Magnin. Oh, 
Amanda Magnin kicking it. Goes off the head of North Greenville defender. Devix kicking it up field. That'll go right to Montgomery in goal for North Greenville. Now North Greenville looking middle. Now they'll look near side. Looking for a cross, maybe. They do get it. Looking for a shot outside now. Goes for a cross off the head. 5-2, North Greenville. Krista Gordon now finally coming on the field. And number 29 coming off for North Greenville. As Swoo kicks it off here. They'll have it on the far side. North Greenville now in possession of it. Greenville now mid. So that ball towing the line does not go out. North Greenville trying to get another shot off. That goes high and right. Hitting the netting, protecting the cars in the parking lot. Magna now kicking it out to Deverick. North Graham taking a shot from far out. Goes off the left post. Stays in play, but then Amanda Magna grabbing it. North Graham will keep in possession, though. Grab trying to get it back for Swoo. Takes another shot. Goes right into the hands of Magnan. Three on one. Who can't get it? Swoo so with a throw in here, trying to get to Bella. Sub coming in from North Greenville. Alicia Land, number seven, now coming in. Coming out is number 10, Jada Patrick. Goal kick now for North Greenville. They'll get it out. They'll go far side, intercepted by Swu. Steves looks to cross it outside, but that'll go a little too far as that rolls out of bounds.
A couple of subs for Swoonet just now coming in. As North Greenville keeps possession, but Fianna Steve's trying to fight for it. North Greenville coming mid -si coming near side. Touched by Bradley. Off the foot of North Greenville as it goes out of bounds. That'll be a throw in from Moles. Taking a quick raise, we have an injured warrior on the field. back to action as we'll resume play right here. And you now in possession of it. That shot right to Amanda Magnan. Temperatures here in central South Carolina heating up as the sun's starting to come out. Not really feeling like the middle of September with it being 82 degrees. Double header action coming on this live stream. So we have our men's team also taking on the men's North Greenville Crusaders. We come on right after this game. So you're just now joining us North Greenville up 5-2 as a whistle is called. As Malin Moles with a throw in. It's right off of North Greenville. Another throw in off the head of North Greenville. It'll be another swoo throw in. Third time's the charm, hopefully. Hit her by Moles. Moles with it. Trying to keep with it. Be turned over to North Greenville. They'll look far side. Looking middle as well. Now back on far side. On. 
Is that will be a corner kick now coming up for North Greenville. Two subs coming up now for Swoo. That will be Han Hannah Kolvachik now coming in, number 43. Now number three, Abigail Amen. And also a sub for North Greenville. That corner kick, kick is up. They can't get the header down. Twenty-four Aubrey Sangster coming in for North Greenville. Sangster, a freshman, all the way from Florida. North Greenville bent showing showing the love for the freshman. Come in now, swoo throw in. That'll be Graf with a throw in. Gets it to Worst. That's off the head of Worst. Now in possession, North Greenville. Abby Kopelchik now getting her first touch of the game. Now it's a Steves. Tries to look middle. That's picked up by Montgomery in goal. Now North Greenville dribbling up the field on the near side. Gets it. They'll have a look at a shot. Great grab by Magnin. Now Bradley with it. Back to North Greenville. Now it'll be Kovacic kicking it back to Amanda. Now to Devericks. Back to Kovacic. Now to Bradley. Back to Devericks. Who kicks it out. That's off the head of North Greenville. And that'll roll out of bounds. Now a sub for Southern Wesleyan. That'll be number 21. Vivian Gutierrez now coming in. And she'll be in Becca Devericks, number nine, coming out for SWU. As Amanda Magnin with a goal kick, she'll just dump it off to Viviana. Trying to get to Abby Kovacic. Now Abigail Allman with the ball. I'll be off the food, North Greenville. Stay SWU ball. Abby Kovacic now with the throw in. Now North Greenville with it. They'll look middle. Now outside. It'll be a one on one. It goes high. No good. Still 5 2 as we hit the 20 minute mark. Fight for the ball. Foul is called in favor of Swoo.
Fight for the ball. It goes out of bounds. And that'll be Swoo Ball. The field judge making the call. Out of bounds off the foot of NGU. Hannah Kovalchik now for throw in. Off the head of NGU. Close to the camera. Hannah Kovalchik now with her second throw in. Off the head again. Goes out of bounds even closer to the camera. Another header off the throw in. This one not as close to the camera. Out of bounds. Subs coming in now for, for NGU. Number three, number 25. Number three, Victoria Hefner. Emma Dennison now with the throw in for North Greenville. Now be off the foot of Wynn Bradley. And North Greenville throw in. Fianna Steve trying to get it. A foul is called. There'll be a foul on Fianna Steves. North Greenland out with the free kick. Because that one's up and away. A lot of contact. But that'll be out of bounds. Off of North Greenville. A man in Magnum with the goal kick. It's back in favor of North Greenville. That will be picked up by Amanda. 16.30 left in the game. Still a 5-2 lead from North Greenville. As that one go out of bounds off the foot of Amanda in goal. That will be North Greenville throw in. Out of bounds off the foot of Swoo. So stay in possession of North Greenville. Swoo trying to kick it out. Not quite there. Foul is called. And that one will be on North Greenville. So that will be a swoo free kick. Win Bradley with the free kick. Back in possession of North Greenville. They're looking middle. They'll take a shot. Just a bit outside. Goal kick now for Swu. Amanda Magan still in goal.
Sub coming in for North Greenville. That's number 12. That'll be Miranda Morehouse coming in for number 7, Alicia Lamb. There's now Wynn Bradley dribbling up the field. Hannah Kovacic comes up with it, passes it to Fianna Steves, gets it upfield. Off the head of North Greenville, so it'll stay swoo ball. Hannah Kovacic coming up the field for the throw in. Off the head, North Greenville again. Amen in the middle of it, trying to get one off. Worse with the missed shot right there. That'll be way right. So we're trying to stay aggressive with their shots. There's not many shots on goal. But still a high percentage. As North Greenville is getting past midfield, they'll be far side, almost in the corner, and that's an offside. It's called. This won't go the other way. North Greenville now with possession. North Greenville knowing they were offsides. No one goes for it. That'll just go out of bounds. We'll see another swoo goal kick. When Bradley with the ball now. She'll get up field and boom it. Now in possession of North Greenville. North Greenville racing for it. Can't get it. That'll go out of bounds. Hannah Kovacic now with a throw in for Swoo. Swoo. Off the head, North Greenville stays in bounds. Amen racing for it. So is North Greenville. That'll be off Amen. As you can see in the background, both men's team from SWU and North Greenville warming up for a doubleheader matchup we have. To about 11 minutes left in this game. Start time going to be a little bit later than three for our men's game. A new scheduled game time for the men's event looking to be Fallis called on North Greenville. That'll be a free kick coming up for Swu. That's Amen with it. That's worse now. Swu now making it look five to three now with this goal. If they can get it in. And that one's wide right. It'll stay 
North Greenville now on the far side. We'll try to extend the lead. That's a foul called. Free kick now. Win Bradley with it. She'll keep it close to Viviana. A header by Swoo stays in bounds, but North Greenville will have it. Subs coming in are getting ready to come in for North Greenville. That's number 11, number 29. North Greenville keeping it on, on the near side. They'll look to get a turn right here. It's poked out by Wynn Bradley. Sub's now coming in. Sub added that number 10 from Greenville. That'll be Jada Patrick. And also Bella Hansel now coming in for SWU for Abigail Allman. Bella already with one goal on the day. In possession, North Greenville now. Pass midfield, but Vivian Gutierrez is now having it. Bella Hansel now racing for it. No foul called to contact. And that's kicked out by North Greenville. Staying swoo ball. Out of bounds off the foot of North Greenville. That'll stay swoo ball. Graf with a throw in. Out again. Coming up on six minutes left in the game. Swoo in possession of it as North Greenville kicks it out. Hannah Kovacic saving it, fighting for the ball. North Greenville racing on the outside, going for a cross on the middle. So another cross. Abigail Magnan diving on it with great save. Foul on North Greenville right here. Win Bradley now with a free kick. Foul on 28 from North Greenville. Maddie Worst lining it for a free kick. Shot, 
shot is low and it's saved. North Greenville now in possession. When Bradley trying to get back for Swoo. Gets it back to Magnum. One on one shot. Deflected off of Magnum. Referee says it did, it was not a deflection, it went straight off the post. So that will be a goal kick. Madeline Moles now coming in the game for Madeline Graff. Goal kick now for Swu. That shot is way high. Another goal kick for Swu right here. North Greenville now close to the goal. They'll go for a cross with a shot. Rolled up to Magnan. Another great save. Moles now with it on the far side. Tries to get in the midfield. They'll be off North Greenville. It'll be a swoo ball. Moles with the throw in. Tries to get to Bella. Moles with another throw in coming up. Off the foot north of Greenville. Off the head north of Greenville as well. Goes out of bounds. Still swoop ball. Less than two minutes left in this game. North Granville still in possession. They'll try to go outside, but it rolls out of bounds. Hannah Kovacic now with the throw in. Coming up on a minute left. North Greenville still staying aggressive. They'll pass it out far side. Now look middle. One minute remaining. One minute remaining. Minute remaining as that ball goes in. Six two. Goal is scored by number 10, Jada Patrick from North Greenville. As we just hit the minute mark left in the game. And North Greenville putting the nail in the coffin. Now to start the countdown to end this game. You look at North Greenville with a hot start. 
in the beginning of the first half. And they just kept going with consistency. Swe with not many shots on goal, but a lot of those shots went in, having two goals on the day. Now North Greenville women's team will get their first win on the season. And your Southern Wesleyan University Warriors will fall to 1-3-1 and one on the year as we're going to get ready as time runs out. 